Thank you so much, Jamila. I know exactly what she's talking about. I was there. I interviewed the same man, Miswari. I also went to Abu Sayyaf land trying to uh, get out a Lebanese hostage that they had. So I've been to the same jungles you have. Luckily, we're here. And I must ask you a question. After this experience, you have a young son. What makes you go on? I'm demented. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're actually no, very sorry. clever. No, don't give me that line. I don't take it. So. You do question whether you're actually uh, demented or not. But I did ask myself whether the risks were worth it. I just realized after that that I had to be more careful mm. with the risks I'm taking. And also, I think that I needed to know that everything I did from then on would be a story that was worth taking. Mm. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I think, when hopefully when my son is older, mm. that he understands why I sometimes have to be away from home, mm. I hope that he appreciates it little by little. What we women do for our children, I always tell myself I'm doing this because I want to be a good example for my two daughters. And I think it's working, so... I think it we'll will see. work for you too. <laughs> so I want to ask you another question. Being a woman journalist in, in a sexist society like the Philippines, if you don't mind me no, saying, I, I quite know the Philippines. I've interviewed older presidents. So uh, is, is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Is, is violence towards women journalists different than men? Because I don't know if you were in the discussion in the morning. Uh, we, we said here in the morning in the round tables that for men, they get mail to say, you shouldn't do write the story, get away from the story. How dare you get to the story? For, wom for women, the emails would say, I'm going to rape you. I know where you're going. I'm going to target your children. So the threats are quite different uh, in, in nature. Do you, is it the same in the Philippines? Yes, it is, but in varying degrees. For example, um, we found ourselves, since the president was sworn into office, um, seen as if uh, there was a time when Philippine journalists in, the, in, in our country was revered and to a certain degree in a way respected. And towards the last few months, we noticed public opinion also turning against us little by little. And it is because of this consistent rhetoric that seems to have cascaded down to the general uh, average person. We've been subjected to online abuse and trolling. And you know, I, I told my colleagues in the Philippines, because it seems to be a seasonal thing, he said, if you do a story and you haven't been trolled, then you haven't done enough <laughs> to make them be aware. So mm. yes, there is sexism, there is misogyny. Mm -hmm. But when I go into a story, I try just not to think that I'm a woman, I'm a, I'm a humanist, and I try not to make it about gender until they make it about gender and I'll put them in their place. Yes, but also you have just interviewed your new president who is not your average president, <laughs> let's say, to put it mildly. So how was that? Um, he, they, they, he's, there's a lot of things. I mean, he, they, they say that there should be an entire course about how to decode Duterte, decoding Duterte. Um, but he, he uses a lot of euphemisms when he does his stories. And so the important thing is to bring him back to the discussion and to counter what he says with facts. And I think no matter how difficult his personality is, he's still a global leader and he understands that he is still accountable to the people that he serves. When it comes to journalists, he has a tendency to um, backtrack from time to time, supporting journalists, blaming them, supporting journalists, blaming them. So for us, we always just make sure that he, we treat him the same way that we've always treated other global leaders or leaders in our country, which is to make them, him accountable for everything that he says. So he didn't call your names, he didn't say anything no, to you? No, he wouldn't dare. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you see the power of women. Thank you very much, Jamila. Thank you. No.